my name is John Tall. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we have Devon. Devon, how are you doing today? I am doing wonderful. Good, good. Praise God. God is good. Um, so Devon, what did you do this summer? This summer I spent some time in Florida doing some Bible working. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. Really? Um, yes. What exactly is Bible working? Well, Bible working, when somebody is doing Bible working, it implies a lot. But just to put it in a nutshell, mm -hmm. we go door to door, mm -hmm. we do... Uh, surveys, mm -hmm. trying to find people that are interested in learning about the Lord and just study the Bible with them. It could be at their house, it could be at the church mm -hmm. and anywhere. Okay, wow. Okay, just another way to evangelize and to meet God's people. That is correct. Um, so would you like to share with us an experience that you had this summer? For sure. Um, well, uh, the Lord definitely worked out some amazing miracles to us and i say myself and and jordan we worked together mm -hmm. and um being in claremont was a little difficult in the beginning mm -hmm. because uh with the corona situation and all of that we didn't have people to study with mm -hmm. and it took a moment to take off but once we took off it was amazing one specific person i remember mm -hmm. is uh this lady that was uh, she is uh, uh, uh oh my voice failed me Keep continue mm -hmm. <coughs> so this one lady she was she is 80 years old mm -hmm. and uh but you do not see that in her she has a roller skate in her house and everything wow. she is very adventurous mm -hmm. but she has been through so many uh studies with many different uh uh movements you could say mm -hmm. or beliefs mm -hmm. uh, jehovah's witness spiritualism and all these type of uh, different uh, beliefs mm -hmm. and once we walked in her house we noticed that this lady had a lot of knowledge but not necessarily everything was accurate oh, so okay. sitting with her she did not want to have the amazing facts bible study and things like that she considered those basic mm -hmm. so what was i going to do and then i started to pray lord give me some ideas and then uh, through some of the studies to try to test her where she is and everything, one day uh, she was discussing with us about Adventism, things that she disagree and everything. Mm. So she pound on the table this one day. She said, I want to study about the law. <laughs> so it's quite interesting to me to see that somebody, you know, was uh, desiring a deeper truth. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I remember that the Lord one day woke me up here. I was up till one o'clock in the morning studying about the story of Abraham mm -hmm. and righteousness by faith and the law and everything. So the Lord brought that up to my mind, and I had all the notes. Mm -hmm. So I showed up at her house the next day with wow. all those notes wow. and everything. Wow. And every time we studied with her before that, she would interrupt the study. Mm -hmm. Pretty much like she's feeling like, oh, this is basic. Mm -hmm. I want something different. Mm -hmm. But throughout that study, she couldn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. She was silent. And at the end of the study, she was puzzled. She was puzzled, and she said, does every seven Adventist believe these things? Wow, so yeah. it's quite amazing that she actually noticed, okay, mm -hmm. there did is did something within that movement that amazes me. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we definitely was amazed sitting with her. At the end, she actually started to call, to call us uh, grandsons. Aww. So she had adopted us at that, at that point with this amazing relationship. Mm -hmm. So that really mm -hmm. amazed me because she was reached with something that she didn't think Seven Adventist people have. Mm. And another experience that I could share is, uh, there was a, we all, obviously we had preaching going on by these young people that was with us there. And on the last day, this person walked to me and he exposed himself in a deep level. Obviously, they were getting comfortable with us. And this individual had many struggles. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he, he even was dealing with uh, some nerve damage. He had HIV and wow. all of these things. So you could say this is a case that looks hopeless. Mm -hmm. But to see him come in and say, I'm finding these truths to be something I can accept. And it's changing me. I want to give up everything. No matter what is my background, mm -hmm. I want the Lord. He even signed up for baptism. Wow. It was marvelous to see all of wow. that. And the Lord did miracles left and right, even transportation that I needed. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord provided a car to be able to reach the people and everything. Mm -hmm. So it was just amazing. Mm -hmm. And in all of this, I see that the Lord still is fulfilling the promise of uh, Matthew chapter 28 mm -hmm. and verse 19. I will be with you mm -hmm. till the end of the world. Amen, amen. You know, these stories are just uh, another example of what Jesus said, you know, the harvest is ripe. That's it. Um, but unfortunately, it. the laborers are few. 
So That's if you right. guys love this um, testimony that we have to share with Devon, I just um, pray that you will consider it, perfectly consider um, mm. coming to Wachita Hills and you know, joining us for um, a school um, semester here or you know, even a canvassing program. Amen. If you'd love the opportunity and you feel that God is leading you here, go to ohc.org and we would love to have you. Um, thank you That's so much, right. guys, for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe, like, um, hit that notification button, and have a wonderful evening. God bless you. Alrighty. <laughs>